everybody. Welcome back to On the Warpath. It's Sanchez 405. If you're new, make sure you click that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime there's new content posted. And as always, like, comment, share this video out because we talk Washington football team all the... Whoa. We talk Washington commanders now all the time here. That's right. On Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022, 2-2-22, the wait was finally over. And we knew... Well, we knew what the name was thanks to NBC4 and Washington undercutting the mothership and the Today Show uh, on the eve of the new name. Ah, okay. That it is what it is. We saw the black jersey. We saw Jonathan Allen there said Washington Commanders at FedEx Field, the new command center uh, of the burgundy and gold in the Commanders. And, you know, we had all these leaks and no, it's not the onions that you, you put in a, a soup sometimes, those fancy onions. But we had leaks that I swear were targeted. And it's just conspiracy theory, Sanchez talking to you right now. That these things were targeted and they were released on purpose so people could get accustomed to it. I, I think that when you had the unblurred video on NBC Sports Washington, I think that spoke volumes that they were ready to rock and roll and we're like you know what let's just have a soft release you know it was like a restaurant right you have a grand opening but then you have some soft you have some soft openings just to test out everything i think they wanted to test out the waters and see how to circumvent and ha how to respond to some of this uh and, and you know it, it is what it is. i thought the leaks were good I, i'm gonna go over the good the bad and the meh and there's one awful i have in here and I, i'm gonna touch on that uh so I, i'll start out with the good y'all the helmet i love this helmet this burgundy matte burgundy helmet with the uh w on the side i like the face mask too very reminiscent of the minnesota vikings current helmet it's fire. I liked it. it. It's nice. Got the little bumper, the commander bumper up top. Legit. I I think that's going to shine well on Sundays, on uh, Sunday nights, Thursday nights, and, and on occasional Monday night. As long as we win, right? Uh, and, and then I look at this. Y'all know I've said this before. And this is how they want me. <laughs> this is how they want me over with this. The black jersey is fire. I have been against, I've been vehemently against black jerseys because I think they're all, they are overrated and they just, they're out overplayed in the NFL. Like everybody has a black jersey for the most part. It seems like, uh, I like, I think they did really well with this. Besides the W on the helmet, which I can get over with. And I think I like the, um, homage to the Washington football team too, with the name on, uh, with the numbers on the side of the helmet. I like that. That I think that was uh I, I think that was a good move. The black it, it doesn't look like it was too forced in that situation. Uh so yeah, I like the black jersey. And like I said, I like the leaks because it gave you time to go through the five stages of grief. Or in the words of the great Joe Clark from Lean On Me, hey, he was talking to Sam's, right? He said, You do drugs, go ahead and jump. You mind? You, you go ahead and jump. Like if you want to jump, go ahead and jump. Nobody's holding you back. Like I said, at the end of the day, I've said this about the team. The team owes us nothing. And on the other hand, we owe them nothing. Like if you look at people my age in their in their 30s and younger, we haven't seen this team win. And for whatever reason, we stay around. I stay around because I think of the front of the name, the Washington, right? The DMV. I think of that, that sort of thing. And plus, that was the only thing that came on when I was a kid, right? Uh, oh, in, in the market. That was the only guaranteed team to come on. Hey, and, we, and we've learned to work with that. The commanders, like, I, and th that's where I, I go into my meh, the name. It was a safe name. It might not have been the best name. But I think what they, what they were trying to do here, and this is just me speculating and guessing here. What they were trying to do is something safe, something that was not troll proof because nothing is troll proof in this world, as we have seen. Correct? Yeah, the, the Washington commies, right? <laughs> that that's another thing. Why does everything have to be shorthand? I know we got the 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 Wizards are the Wiz, the Capitals are the Caps, the Nationals are the Nats, but the the, the commanders don't need short. The Bullets weren't shorthand. 
if I'm mistaken, somebody comment, tell me if that's that's right. Uh, that, that the bullets had a shorthand name. What were they? The guns? I who knows at this point. Or the trains, right? Because they say it was a bullet train. Uh, but it was safe. Um, a lot of people aren't gonna like it, and I get that. You know, I I was listening to folks on 980, and there was one woman in particular that was so upset. She was a season ticket holder. And she was, she's not okay. She said she didn't listen to sports radio. She listened to music all day because they, they could have named it the Red Hogs. They could have named it the Hogs, the Warthogs, whatever. She they, she was like, it, it was like her husband, Henry, coming in there, which I didn't know she had a husband, Henry. And he said his name is Henrietta. Lord have mercy. This is where we're at. This is why I said you have to channel your inner Joe Clark and say, if you want to jump, go ahead and jump. She said they're dead to her. And, and a lot of people feel that way. And if you feel that way, that's okay. It don't matter. It's the beauty of America. If you can feel that way, you should be pissed off, right? You remember the glory days. The championships, not the restaurant. But, hey, the, another bad thing. And I'm going to tell you this right now. That, that was the mess. That was the, the mess for the most part. Uh, the bad. Lord have mercy, the bad. That white jersey. Good God almighty. Who? Too much black. Too much black in it. I, I want to see some gold. I, I'm a traditionalist in that standpoint, right? I, I, I did, I'm not a big fan. I know some people are. They like their road jerseys. I ain't a big fan. It's going to take me time. But with time, I've gotten over the loss of the Redskins. I've gotten over this Washington football team thing. And now I'll get over the white jerseys with, with the commanders, right? It'll be good there. Um, The Today Show. Good God. How sloppy was that? Doug Williams. Could Doug Williams not sit What's he doing wearing a tan suit in February, too? Bro, come on. Craig Melvin was sitting there. Lord, I got excited. Move my, my mic there. Craig Melvin, they, <laughs> Jonathan Allen, they clearly looked like they didn't want to be there. They were freezing on the surface. I don't know. They may have to check Craig Melvin afterwards to see if he tore an ACL walking on that, uh, on that field. But, uh, I, I mean, that was all. And then the team. Oh, my gosh. We were sitting there all rambling with Rio, and the team's Twitter page tweeted that they are the commanders before they come out of commercial break with the Today Show. What was the bloody point? Like, my goodness. I get, look, we're all human. That's why the good Lord made pencils and put erasers on it, right? But damn, you, you, that's what you pitched the whole time was it's going to be on the Today Show. And then Ron Rivera was nowhere to be found on the Today Show. He was on uh, He was on with Robin Roberts on CBS. I, come on now. Like, like, couldn't somebody, you can time tweets to be released. If you can time videos to be released at a certain time, correct? You can go ahead and, do, like, what in the, who? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Uh, also, Lord, the, the bad two continued with the release. Uh, Dan Snyder, he made an off-color joke, uh, which, you know, I don't know if his speechwriters did that or anything or he pulled a Ron Burgundy, uh, but he was, and Lord, have mercy. He, he, <laughs> Dan looks like his beard signed those debt waivers, right? He had that big old beard graying out. <laughs> he said, the, the best not-kept secret in all of Washington, you know, when they had, they had the NBC four chopper going in there, I still think that uh, the boys from the uh, Washington football team are now commanders pod talk. I think JP Finley and Mitch Tischler and uh, Pete Haley were, were driving that <laughs> uh, were on the uh, chopper four that day um, on <laughs> new name Eve. But, you know, Tanya was up there and saying, ta-da, hilarious uh joe thosman who, who really leaked it a couple days before and i think i don't think joe was baited they were like just joe joe go ahead and do your charming notre dame thing just go ahead and get the golden domer out there uh but it wasn't bad i, I you know it it, it, was, it was bad but it, it, come on now um you know the sad sacks I, I feel bad for you um and it, another thing this is the worst thing that I thought of the whole time that was bad. You know, to, to Nike, Nike cut small anyway, right? Y'all got fat people watch football too. 
I go on this NFL shop, y'all, and they don't have anything. My size, there's nothing but 2X and below. Like Nike, and that fits like an extra medium sometimes on big people. Like, what are y'all talking about? Don't they I get is a hat? You ain't have hoodies in my size? Come on, family. Big people, linemen, they, they build the trenches. You can't have no 3X, no 4X for people. Maybe they want to get help. I don't know. I'm going to have to literally go buy a gym membership so I can fit into this stuff. If they don't put any 3X stuff up on the uh, up on the website. I was so distraught. That was a bad thing. Now, the awful, the awful thing before I wrap up here is the fact that um, that seal, the seal is nice. But they put Washington football, they put the championships on there. And they put 1983, 1987, and um, 1992. Excuse me, 1988 and 1992. That's not when the Redskins won those Super Bowls. May have been the year that the Super Bowl was played on the calendar scheme. But when you honor these teams, you honor the 91 Redskins. You honor the 1987 Redskins, the 82 Redskins. You don't honor the fact that they won in January, the Super Bowl in January of 83, of 88, of 1992. You got to get that corrected. I think that that is the one thing that was a glaring misstep out of everything else. And it could miss slop. It could be, like I said, you know, people are like, what, what have they commanded? We've commanded L's for the last 30 years. Uh, and, and, you know, we'll see. And, and then I, I just think that needs to be corrected. It's on the uniform. It, it doesn't look good. Uh, it, it's not right. It's not accurate. Uh, and anybody in the NFL will tell you that. So I, I thought that was a misstep. I don't know if they showed the alums this. And it was good to see a lot of the alums there. Uh, Brian Arakpo, that's another good thing. Brian Arakpo was there. He was cu- making cupcakes in Nashville, came up here. Jordan, Jordan Reed, I, Oh, he remembers he was up here. It was good to see him there. I love you. I'm all love Jordan Reed. Uh, you know, Joey T, Brian Mitchell, uh, those guys on there, Doug Williams in the tan suit in February again. Like, Lord have mercy, Doug. But at the end of the day, it, it is what you make of it. We don't owe the team anything at the grand scheme of thing, right? We, we remain loyal for, for whatever reasons. I say this personal experience. My grandfather was a Redskins fan. My mom is a Washington fan. That's where I got it from. Outside of, like I said earlier, that's the only thing that came on, WTTG, Fox 5 in D.C. That's what we used to get all the time up there in Northern Virginia. So that's what I watch. Um, you know, we don't owe them anything. They don't owe us anything at the end of the day. Uh, you know, if you want to jump, go ahead and jump. But in the last thing, before I even wrap this thing up, I just thought about this. The commanders, the San Diego commanders, and you took the hashtag away from, you stole their hashtag, which they're defunct. I think these commanders can make payroll, though. They, I, I, I hope that's the case. Uh, they don't have, they, even though we got debt waivers and stuff, I think Dan's beard can cash a check to, to make sure payroll is met for this team. They stole, excuse me, they took command of hashtag take command. Wasn't there. And it could be the fact that they're trying to make this into a bigger brand, uh, more than just a football team. It doesn't, it, let's be honest. Whatever this is right here, it doesn't matter if it doesn't work back here on this stadium in Commands W's uh, come September. It, it, it won't work that way. Got to go out and win. That's the best way you can get fans back. People will get over, people will get over the name change. People, some people won't get over it. But the key thing at the end of the day is win some damn ball games. Your football team, win freaking football games. However you do it, wherever you do it, bring Russell Wilson in. <clears throat> Another story for a different day. But, y'all, tell me what you're thinking. Are you hurting? Are you laughing? I think a lot of people laugh. Are you happy about it? I'm happy because we don't have to talk about this name anymore. We can talk about football, quarterbacks. Is Ron Rivera doing a good job? Which he was nowhere to be found, like I said. Um but it was his daddy's birthday this week, so he had to go out to California during the Senior Bowl, which, eh, eh, anyway. But 
Y'all, tell me what you think in the comments. I appreciate y'all, everything y'all do to help this channel grow. We're on the way to 3,000. Stick with me. We're going to, you guys have been a blessing, and I have a new, a new one. We, we're always going to keep the same damn energy, and we'll outlast the bastards together, which kind of works with the commanders, right? We're going to outlast them damn bastards. But anyway, remember to take command, take names, kick ass, tell the next time. And hey, we'll still use love, peace, and hell for uh, a couple of times as well, as always. But I'm saying, Charles, four or five. I'll talk to y'all around the way. I'm out.